Hi, I'm Sarah, and welcome to Lori Farm. So some new chickens we are adding to the flock is this one is an olive egger, just kind of a generic olive egger. Um, basically what an olive egger is, it's a green layer that was breeded with a brown layer, so then it makes an olive colored egg, a darker green. So this is one of the newer ones. He's a little bit bigger, he's about four weeks old, or she is about four weeks old. Kind of cute, all fluffy, starting to feather in there, just coming out nicely. Another variety we have is this one. She's absolutely gorgeous. She is a lavender marin. So she's a lavender mix with a marin mix. And so she'll lay a deeper brown egg too. She's got the pretty feathers on the outer part of her legs, which is a signature sign for a marin. And she'll grow up and just be a beautiful light purple color slash gray. And this is a cream leg bar. This one is about two to three weeks old, starting to feather in there. They will lay a bright blue egg and they're just a good all around purpose bird, really pretty. And they're pretty sweet. And these little guys are Belay Felders. They're a German breed, very beautiful. They're also a dual purpose chicken, which means they can be used for meat or eggs. And they will lay a darker brown egg, not quite like a Marin, but pretty close. They're pretty beautiful birds also. These ones are about two weeks and just starting to feather. And these are our buff Orphingtons. They're about two weeks old. They're a good du dual purpose chicken also, which is meat and eggs. They'll lay a nice large tan colored egg and I got these because they're actually probably one of the sweetest chickens and if you're looking to raise chickens it's honestly probably the easiest breed to raise also and they're du dual purpose so they're just a good chicken to have. Um, the reason we got these was we are gonna get rid of our big red broilers and then we're gonna start raising these. I did order one rooster so hopefully um, we only got one, and at least one, because like I said, we'd like to start raising, breeding these, so then we can use them for meat and egg production. So I'm pretty excited about these ones. And like I said, they're the friendliest. They're the ones that'll come right up to you, sit on your lap, and they're a pretty sweet bird. hidden under you. <laughs> this is where the meat birds, big red broilers are currently. We're gonna harvest them in a week and then uh, we'll move the buff Orphingtons in here once they get fully feathered, probably about six to eight weeks. Um, and that'll be their new home and then we'll keep them separated and We'll breed them and then we'll just kind of make more and more and more. And then we'll have a good dual purpose chicken situation going on. I uh, wish we would have done that in the beginning. These were kind of a mess and they don't really like to roost up high so it gets real dirty down on the ground because that's where they like to stay. So I think the buff Orphingtons will be a way better decision for our purposes anyways. Thanks for watching our video and if you want to learn more about chickens, check out this video right here.